Well, good morning, guys. It's Pastor Andy. I want to thank you for joining me for devotions this morning. We're in Romans chapter 1, and we're coming down to two of my favorite verses in this book. And it's kind of the theme of the book of Romans here in, in verse 16 that we're getting ready to read. The theme of the whole book is right here. We're about to hit it. Why was the book of Romans written? Here it is. Are you ready? Let's look at it. Romans chapter 1, verse 16. For I am not ashamed of this good news about Christ. Not ashamed. That's the theme of the whole book. I'm not ashamed. And Paul is saying, I am not ashamed of the good news of Christ. Why would Paul say, I'm not ashamed? Why would he be ashamed of the gospel? Does that seem weird to you? Well, let me explain it. Rome was a very proud, proud city. The people were very, very proud. And they looked down on the Jews. And here, Paul who is a Jewish tent maker, walking into, is going to be coming into this city of pride, national pride, looking down on these Jews like they're nobody. Here he's coming to tell them a story about a Jewish carpenter who died on a cross. He's a Jew, he's looked down on, and dying on the cross, that's the lowest form of execution. So when Paul's saying, I'm not ashamed of this, when you think about it in these terms, you can understand why Paul would say, I'm not ashamed, even though the people I'm coming to talk to are going to be looking down on me, and they're going to be looking down on the person that I'm telling them about this good news. So Paul says, I am not ashamed of this good news about Christ. Why? Why, Paul? Why aren't you ashamed? Here he goes. It is the power of God at work saving everyone who believes. It is the power. You know, the Greeks had philosophy, but Rome had power. Rome was feared. They had centurions placed all over the then known world, conquering city, conquering people. They were proud. They were the people with the power. So Paul says, you know what? You may look down on me and you may look down on the person that I'm coming to tell you about, but can I tell you well, who's got the real power? It's not you. It's the power of God. God's power versus Rome's power. I think I know who would win that battle. I think you do too. It's the power of God at work saving everyone who believes. It's for everybody. Everyone who will put their faith and trust in this gospel, this good news, it will save them. They will be saved. He goes, everyone who believes. I like that phrase too because it's important because so much of the time we put an emphasis on how people behave. But it doesn't say you'll be, it saves everyone who behaves. It says everyone who believes, the Jew first and the Gentile. It's for everybody. It starts with the Jews because Christ came to his own and his own received him not. And the gospel then went out to the Gentiles. So here Paul is saying, I'm not ashamed of this because I know and I've got the real power behind me. And this power can save anybody. There is no one too far gone. Anybody who believes to the Jews, but we're not going to leave you out. It's also to the Greeks. And thank God it's to not just the Jews because we are Gentiles here living in America today. So we have the opportunity to have a relationship with God. And I'm excited and thank the Apostle Paul for getting the gospel out because he is the one who got the gospel to the Gentiles. So when I read this, you know what it makes me think of? And the, you know the, the big thought that comes to my mind is how at the beginning of the verse, Paul says, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. Are you ashamed of the gospel? Well, we would probably all say, well, no, I'm not ashamed of the gospel. But can I ask you then, what, are you giving it to people? Are you sharing it with people? You see, we may not come out and verbally say, I'm ashamed of the gospel, but we can have shame on the inside and be embarrassed. Maybe that's a better word for me to use. Are you embarrassed of being a Christian? I don't want to tell anybody because I don't want them to think different of me. I don't want them to think less of me. I don't want them to think this, that, or the other. No, no, it doesn't matter. Who cares? Are you ashamed of being a Christian? Are you ashamed of the gospel of Christ? Paul says, not me. And I'm going to people who would really look down on me and would really come after me and, and who think less about me because of, you want to talk about serious racism. I mean, Paul's going to the, the people that hated him, the people that looked down on him as less than human and sharing this good news. So who are you sharing the good news with? Are you ashamed? I certainly hope you aren't. I hope you're sharing the gospel with everyone you can. Because when we share the gospel, people are going to come into a relationship with Jesus. 
Who are you sharing the gospel with? I hope you're getting God's word. Read it for yourself and see what he has for you. And let's not be ashamed of the gospel. God bless you and have a great day. Thank you.